Welcome. Today I'd like to share with you a conversation that came up while I was at the Columbia Media Forum recently about five things you can do that practically guarantee your innovation process won't work. The first is that innovation is on again, off again. We've all seen this movie. Someone comes up with a burning desire to foster new ideas in the organization. As though they were the first people on the planet to come up with this concept, they go about inventing an innovation process from scratch. Very often, the innovation ends badly. Then someone else, sometime later, decides that they need more innovation and the whole thing starts up again. Innovation, like any other important organizational process, can, to some extent, be managed. So before you let people blunder around reinventing the process every time, it makes sense to understand it first. The second indicator of a broken innovation process is when big existing businesses get to control the resources. Just because they're profitable today doesn't mean they will be tomorrow. Logically, you need to be moving resources out of older businesses that are slow growth and into new opportunities. Here's the problem. If the managers of those older businesses are allowed to hold resources hostage, there's no way a new little idea is going to get any traction. The third thing I look for is a company desperately trying to fit innovative new ideas into the structure that it has. Brad Anderson, the very wise recent CEO of Best Buy, told me at Davos that organizations have habits and they'll stick to their habits even at the risk of their own survival. And nowhere is this more evident than the tendency of people in organizations to try to make innovations fit into the structure that they have, rather than creating structures that would better support the needs of the new idea. Next, I look to see how well connected companies are to their customers' experiences. I'm always amazed at how blind organizations are about this. Companies whose customers are predominantly female leave decisions about what innovations to invest into men. Organizations serving college students have an average employee age of 48 and wouldn't let a student near the executive suite. What you want instead is to make sure that real, authentic customer contact takes place. Finally, a cardinal sin is to treat assumptions as though they were knowledge. When you're doing something innovative, by definition something new, the main goal should be learning, not proving that you're right. So there you have it. Five early warning signs to look for for a doomed innovation process and some suggestions about what to do about them. The good news is that there's a growing body of knowledge about innovation and how it works that can help make the whole endeavor less fraught, more reliable, and even fun.